Mariana, a woman whose life has always revolved around taking care of others, found herself facing the most challenging moment of her existence. On a day that started like any other, she found herself seated in a chair of palpable comfort in the doctor's office, her hands intertwined in an expression of anxiety. The air was saturated with palpable tension as she awaited the words of Dr. Fred, an oncologist with a gentle voice and eyes carrying the weight of unwelcome news. Mariana began, Dr. Fred hesitating, the results of your tests have shown that you have advanced stage cancer. The words fell into the silence of the office like stones into a tranquil lake, deeply disturbing Mariana's peace. For a moment, the world seemed to slow down, and she felt as if a fog had descended upon her consciousness. What are my chances of survival? Mariana managed to ask, her voice no more than a trembling whisper as she struggled to maintain composure. Dr. Fred sighed, carefully pondering his next words. It's difficult to say precisely, Mariana. The chances are modest, but they exist. Intensive treatment is being discussed, a combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Possibly, after surgery, it won't be easy, and there will be significant side effects. Mariana felt a lump form in her throat. But instead of succumbing to despair, something inside her ignited a flame of determination she didn't know she possessed. Lifting her head, her eyes met the doctor's with a newfound intensity. Then we fight, she declared, her voice gaining strength. No matter how slim my chances are, I need to try. For myself, for my family. I won't give up without a fight. Dr. Fred nodded, a glimmer of admiration in his eyes. That's very brave of you, Mariana. You won't be alone in this. We'll do everything in our power to fight this. In that moment, despite the fear and uncertainty surrounding her, Mariana felt a strength rising from within. She was determined to face anything that came, armed with a fierce will to live. The journey would be arduous, she knew, but she also knew that every step towards fighting for her life would be worth it. That night, Mariana's living room turned into a scene loaded with tension and expectation. Diego, her husband, a man of few words, with a smile that could always brighten the darkest days, sat on the couch, his gaze fixed on Mariana. Mateus, the couple's teenage son, whose energy and enthusiasm were the joy of the house, paused his activities, sensing the seriousness of the moment. Both waited, a sense of unease hovering in the air. Mariana took a deep breath, gathering every fragment of courage she possessed. Diego, Mateus, I have something very important to share with you, she began, her voice trembling, but firmer. The subsequent silence was almost tangible, as if the world outside had stopped to listen. The doctors have diagnosed me with cancer, and it's not early, it's advanced stage, she continued. The words hung in the air, heavy with the weight of fear and uncertainty. Diego immediately stood up, his pale face reflecting the shock those words caused. Mariana, my love, how can this be? His voice was a whisper, laden with emotion. Meanwhile, Mateus seemed frozen, his eyes wide open, the reality of the situation slowly sinking into his young consciousness. Mom, you're going to be okay, right? His voice, normally full of youthful confidence, was now broken with concern. Mariana looked at the two with love and determination shining in her eyes. I won't lie, it'll be a tough battle. But I promise you that I'll fight with all I have, and I'm not alone. We'll face this together as a family, we'll overcome this challenge, no matter how difficult it is. Diego approached, 
enveloping Mariana in his arms, a gesture of support and protection. We're with you, Mariana, every step of the way. You won't face this alone. Mateus joined the embrace, the family unit strengthening in the face of adversity. We're a team, Mom. We'll get through this together. That night, despite the storm of emotions, Mariana's family found a new strength in their unity. They knew the road ahead would be full of challenges, but they also knew that together they could face anything. The promise to fight to overcome that challenge together became the beacon that would guide them through the storm that was to come. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Mariana's journey in her battle against cancer became increasingly arduous. The intensive and exhaustive treatment not only took its toll on her but also on her family. Diego and Mateus, who initially showed unwavering support, began to feel the weight of the circumstances. Diego, who had always been the family's pillar of strength, found himself entangled in a web of additional responsibilities. Between hospital visits, taking care of Mariana, and trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy for Mateus, one night, while silently preparing dinner, he murmured to himself, how are we going to continue like this? Everything seems so different. Mateus, on the other hand, faced his own internal battle. The exhausting routine and the weight of the situation began to affect his performance at school and his social life. Feeling isolated from his friends and the life he used to have, Mateus confided in Mariana. In a rare moment of calm between them, Mom, I miss how things were before. I try to be strong, but it's hard, said Mateus. Mariana, despite her own struggle, felt a twinge of pain at seeing what her illness was doing to her family. On a particularly difficult night, she gathered Diego and Mateus in the living room, a space once filled with laughter, now shadowed by the reality of their situation. I see how hard this is for both of you, she began, her voice choked with emotion. And I'm so sorry for everything we're going through. But I need you now more than ever. Diego, with tears brimming in his eyes, unshed, responded, we know, and we're here. It's just that it's harder than we imagined. Mateus, holding his mother's hand, added with a sincerity that only youth can possess, Mom, I'll try to be stronger for you. The conversation that night revealed the cracks that had formed in the family dynamic, the reality of their new life marked by treatments, fears, and uncertainties. It had created an emotional abyss between them as Mariana's illness progressed, becoming an increasingly oppressive presence in the family's life. Diego and Mateus found themselves at a devastating emotional and moral crossroads. I simply can't do this anymore, confessed Diego, avoiding Mariana's gaze. It's tearing me apart inside. And I know Mateus is suffering too. We need time, space to breathe, to rediscover ourselves, added Mateus. Though young, he carried a burden far beyond his years. Faced with this unimaginable abandonment, Mariana felt as if the last thread of hope had been ripped from her heart. However, amidst the storm of her despair, she found unexpected anchors, her sister Beatrice and the nurse John. Beatrice, always the foundation Mariana leaned on, emerged with unwavering strength and love, she said, holding Mariana's hands firmly. No matter how hard it gets, you won't face this alone. We'll get through this together, affirmed Beatrice. John, the nurse who had become a constant and comforting presence, offered not only his professional care but also a friendly shoulder. Mariana, I see your struggle, and you're stronger than you think. I'm here to take care of you, 
to make sure you have everything you need in this moment of abandonment, he said. Mariana found a new kind of family, formed not only by blood ties but also by compassion, care, and unconditional love. Beatriz and John became her pillars, offering the support she needed to face each new day with hope and determination. Thank you, John, she replied with a determined gleam in her eyes. Sometimes, I feel lost in the midst of this storm, but knowing I have you and Beatrice with me gives me strength to carry on. I won't let myself be defeated. Together, Mariana and John faced each day as a new battle, an opportunity to challenge despair and embrace hope. Treatment sessions, though tough, became more bearable with John by her side, offering emotional support, care, sympathy, and above all, unwavering friendship. Mariana's journey, though marked by adversity, was also a story of incredible human strength and solidarity. Through the darkness of illness, she found light in the support of those who stood by her, proving that even in the toughest situations, solidarity and love for others can bring strength and hope. After a period of trials, battles, and actions, Mariana finally began to see new horizons in her life. With the illness now in remission, she allowed herself to dream again, opening her heart to new experiences and possibilities. She continued with treatment but now didn't need to go to the hospital as often. Thus, she decided to move to a new neighborhood, taking the first step on this journey of renewal. It was a Saturday, the sun illuminating the streets with its golden glow as Mariana entered her new residence. The neighborhood was serene, with tree-lined streets whispering in the wind and welcoming neighbors who greeted her warmly. Mariana met Elisa, a kindly lady with hands that conveyed the wisdom of one intimate with the earth. Dear, this place has something special, Elisa commented with a smile. People here have a unique way of connecting. It was Elisa who introduced Mariana to the world of gardening on a sunny afternoon, as she showed her own garden filled with vibrant flowers and life. Each plant here has its story, just like we care for them. It teaches me about patience, care, and above all, the beauty of transformation, said Elisa. Touched by Elisa's passion and wisdom, Mariana felt an immediate connection to the earth and its wonders. She started small, with a pot of daisies and one of lavender. Gradually, her garden began to flourish, and with it, her soul too. I never imagined that the earth and plants could teach me so much about life, reflected Mariana, her hands covered in soil, a contented smile on her lips. Gardening has brought me peace, a joy I didn't know was missing. It's as if, by caring for these plants, I'm tending to a part of me that was neglected. Mariana found in gardening not only a new passion but also a form of meditation and connection to the world around her. Her days were now filled with the joy of seeing her plants grow, the peace of being outdoors, and the satisfaction of creating beauty with her own hands. With each new flower that bloomed, Mariana felt her life gain more colors and meaning, proving that even after the darkest periods, it's possible to rebuild, renew, and flourish again. And she cherished those who never abandoned her, who stood by her on her darkest days, whenever they could. Years had passed since Diego and Mateus, driven by inexplicable selfishness, had left a broken family. Memories of their actions, though distant, still echoed with a dark persistence, fueled by news of Mariana's success. Diego decided to return, his mind numb with his accomplishments. On that day, the air was charged with the electricity of an impending storm, both meteorologically and emotionally. Diego, 
with hesitant but determined steps, crossed the threshold that separated Mariana's past from the present, bringing with him clouds of past conflicts, driven by the desire to mend ties he had broken with his own hands. He found Mariana in her garden, a sanctuary of peace she had cultivated with the same care she used to rebuild her life. Mariana, Diego began, his voice trembling, revealing the internal storm consuming him. I know I have no right to appear like this after so long, but I needed to see you, I needed to try to fix the past. Surprised by Diego's sudden appearance, Mariana rose from where she was kneeling among the flowers. Wiping her hands on her skirt, she replied, maintaining a more emotional than physical distance. The past is not a broken vase that can simply be glued back together. What's done is done, and I have built a new life, a life that has no space for what separated us. The honesty in Mariana's words struck Diego like a lightning bolt, illuminating the reality he was trying to avoid, that some actions are irreversible, and forgiveness doesn't always rebuild burned bridges. But, Mariana, I have changed, Diego insisted, hopelessness creeping into his voice, is there anything I can do to, to turn back time? We both know that's impossible, Mariana interrupted, her voice firm but not devoid of compassion. You need to understand that sometimes facing the past means accepting that it doesn't define our future. And my future doesn't include you. The conversation, though brief, was a tense encounter, a clash between Diego's desire to re-enter Mariana's life out of greed and the inflexible reality of the new existence she had forged for herself. Diego, confronted with the truth in Mariana's words, felt the weight of his past actions more than ever. And Mariana, though shaken by the attempted invasion of her present by the past, remained steadfast, a living testament to her own resilience. In the end, Diego left but did not accept defeat. The next day, he found a lawyer to file a lawsuit against Mariana, demanding that she include them in her will. Upon learning of the lawsuit filed by her son and husband, who had abandoned Mariana, she was deeply hurt. But she didn't falter, deciding instead to file for divorce, alleging abandonment of a vulnerable person and claiming that they only returned for money. She also sought compensation for all the turmoil of their abandonment and return after years. It was on a night when the blue light of police sirens cut through the darkness, reflecting on the tense faces of all involved, that Diego and Mateus, until then immersed in their justifications, were abruptly confronted with the reality of their actions. The arrival of the police, an impartial and determined force, marked the beginning of a new phase where the consequences of their actions could no longer be ignored. Gentlemen, you are under investigation, announced the officer, his firm and authoritative voice cutting through the tense air, Every action has consequences, and it's time to face them. Diego, with a pale face under the intermittent light, exchanged a frightened look with Mateus. This is a misunderstanding, he stammered, trying in vain to find a way out of the web of lies they had spun. Mateus, on the other hand, remained silent, the reality of his choices finally settling in his heavy heart. Amidst this chaos, Mariana, though torn apart by pain and betrayal, rose with a strength she didn't know she possessed. The journey had been arduous, marked by moments of doubt and despair, but at every step of the way, she found fragments of herself she didn't even know existed. Cruel adversity has been a severe but fair teacher. I have learned so much from it, she continued, gazing at the horizon, about justice, about resilience, and about the value of moving forward, no matter how difficult. 
with Diego and Mateus now navigating the turbulent waters of the legal system, Mariana felt a chapter of her life closing. It wasn't exactly a happy ending, but it was a necessary closure for her to begin rebuilding her life on new foundations. She dedicated herself to causes dear to her heart, finding purpose in helping others facing similar adversities. Each person she helped, each life she touched, was a reminder that even in the darkest hours, there was hope, and more importantly, she allowed herself to love and be loved again, opening her heart to new possibilities. What happened shouldn't affect me, Mariana asserted with conviction as she walked through the park on a sunny morning, feeling the gentle breeze on her face. It's just a part of my story, and I decide how the rest will be written. With gratitude for the lessons learned and the strength found in adversity, Mariana continued her life, dedicating herself to what and who really mattered. She knew the journey ahead would still have its challenges, but now she felt prepared to face them with the certainty that in the end, everything would be all right. Mariana's story is a powerful reminder that, regardless of the challenges we face, we are capable of overcoming them with courage, determination, and the support of those around us. Her journey reminds us that even in the toughest times, there is always hope and the possibility of a new beginning. If you enjoyed this story, leave your opinion in the comments below, and of course, leave a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. A big hug and see you soon.